Well, I don't have friends like this. Not anymore. They've been dropped a long time ago. Let's go. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Dunzo Dion. Welcome back to my channel. Are you poppin'? Because I know I am. Okay, I am back with another video. Yes, and as you guys see by this title, we are leaving. People, no, 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 wrong video. That's for the next video. But as you can see, this is the types of people we are leaving in 2019. Leaving, done, busy, should have been left, been gone, been disappeared. That's the types of people that I personally need to leave and I think that others need to leave as well. Side note, bitch, if you see this lighting tripod I have right now, it took me about two to three hours to get this lighting to work for y'all. I was really about to give up because it's hot and this heat. Bitch, I'm in Ghana right now and I'm living it up, sweetie. Um, I have not vlogged yet. I'm gonna vlog. It's just that... I be out and about, and this be too hot to be having a camera and a tripod up. I have to at least make one Ghana vlog so I can see what day is like in Ghana because, ooh, it's beautiful. Bitches over here think Ghana is the trash and the, people just have this whole stereotype about Africa. Let me tell you something, it is totally the opposite, okay? Point blank, purry, okay? Yeah, I decided to film this video before I go out because why not? And I feel like I've really been slacking on YouTube, you know what I mean? I've just been living my life. Hey, darling, if this is your first time seeing my face and knowing my existence, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That helps you a lot. If you, yes, you, if you are watching this right now, stop! This video gives me the big fat thick thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right on into this video. Shall we, darling? Okay, this shit right here, this bitch is really ugly. It is not cute. It's disgusting, okay? I don't like it. Ooh, this lighting is so ugly, but at least I'm here. At least I'm, I'm trying to just, you know, this is so ugly, but I look so beautiful, though. You know what I mean? Like, even though the lighting and everything, because I have this little ass light that I just packed. You know, because I knew I was getting the camera right here, and I hate the shadows in the background. Types of people slash types of friends in 2019. Don't know I'm gonna title it, okay? Types of people, I guess. Don't, doesn't necessarily have to be your friends. But okay, number one is unsupportive people, unsupportive friends. Unsupportive people, let's talk about people. They don't have to be a f***ing friend, bitch. Acquaintances, whatever. They just need to be dropped. Whoever you associate with who does this shit needs to be dropped. That's on point blank pay, okay? And that's on Jesus' love, okay? Unsupportive people, I feel like they need to be dropped because you know what? Sometimes people call me unsupportive, but I'm not really, I would say this because you know, I. Admit when I'm unsupportive, I'm just not, I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm unsupportive. Me personally, I'm a person that I'll support you, but you're not about to sit here and expect me to do the most for you. I'm not gonna do that. Take the support and go, bitch. And the thing is, when you demand support from me, I don't give it, bitch. I give support to what I want to give support to. So I just have to get out the way. If you're one of those people like me, okay, because some people like Denzel, you are so unsupportive. I'm like, bitch, I'm not gonna sit here and keep sharing your business every motherfucking day. I, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and do that. Playing social media wise, just everything. People are like, oh, you don't support me, you don't post me. Bitch, I don't even fuck with you like that. I say hi and bye to you. I saw you twice at a party. Go, be gone. But I'm talking about for the real people, for the real homies. Like, I support my friend friends, okay? So, unsupportive friends. The thing is, let me tell you something. If you have to beg support from people, they're not your friends. I'm just gonna say friends. Because the friends, I feel like it hits home. Yeah, we're going to do friends or people, whatever, bitch. If you have to beg your friend to support or beg someone to support that you consider a friend, if you have to beg them, truth be told, bitch, they're not your friend, okay? For me, you don't have to tell me to support. And if I don't support your thing, it means one, I didn't like it. Two, I don't fuck with you like that. And three, yeah, they're all the above. Point blank, period. Because see me, I have some friends that are artists, okay, or people that I know that are artists, and they always tell me to share the music. I'm not gonna share it because, bitch, I don't like it. I don't care if we cool. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna share it. So, yeah. For your real friends, like, even if you, like, okay, I'm gonna give you a critique, though, but I'm still support. Drop unsupported friends 2020. I've said this last year. I'm gonna say it every single year because I feel like a lot of us have friends that are unsupportive who don't really support our dreams. And when your friends don't support you, it's like, damn, bitch, am I really doing what I'm supposed to do? Like, could they see me doing this field? Can they really see me doing it? Or like, am I a failure? You know what I mean? Like, if your own homies is not supporting you, it's like, damn, if they're not supporting me, then who will? Then who else will? Sweetie, others will support you. But for me, yes, drop unsupported friends. If you have something and your friends are not supporting you, they're not really holding you down, and they just look upon you, not give you critiques and stuff. They just, you know, you know when someone supports you, you know someone doesn't support you. Okay? And low key, they be the haters. If they don't support you, they really low key be hating. To really be honest, because bitch, why are you not supporting? Is either my shit not good or you hating? Pick one, sweetie. Let me know if it's not good, but if your friend is doing something and you don't think it's the best that they could do, let them know. That's being also supportive. You are supporting their true vision. You're letting them know the truth of the teeth. I've never had to ask for support ever in my life, bitch, and I won't. Bitch, if you don't want to support me, then you don't have to support me, bitch. You get left. I keep it as a mental note. I won't tell you nothing, but sweetie, you'll see me change. You'll see my actions change. People who don't know you will support you. That's just how the world works, okay? And this brings me to my other thing. Hey, the friends. We all have those friends. I don't really call them friends. I call them acquaintances now. They've been dropped. You know, they've been you know, dethroned. But yes, we do have friends that are haters slash envious or jealous friends, okay? I'll put all that in the hater category. 
if you have a hater friend, we all know the hater friend, meaning if you do something, they try to shit on it, they try to say it's not all that. You don't need that type of negativity around your life. I used to have friends like that. I'm never a hater friend, bitch. If anything, I'm a supporter friend. Okay, you ask any of my friends, I'm so supportive. I'm always telling bitches what to do with their careers. I'm always giving people ideas, thumbnails, titles, music choices, music genres. Damn near writing lyrics for bitches, okay? I'm always trying to see the next person win. Always, that's just me. That's just how I was brought up. I like, I'd rather other people win before me. I like other people around me to win before me. I always put others ahead of myself. I do that a lot and I'm gonna stop at 2020 because I'm putting myself first, point blank, period. But, 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 like one of my friends has done something. Oh my God, that's good, congrats, but I won't make a big deal out of it just because I'm that type of bitch. I'm that type of person. I don't make a big deal out of nothing. I don't make a big deal when I get do something big. And it's just me. It's just like, it's just my mind. I'm just like, it, it could always be better. I could always do better. Like, that's it. This is all you can do for me. Because we all know, how, we all have that friend that low-key be hate, that low-key be jealous. I'm like, damn, bitch, why are you salty? And you can tell when a friend hates. You can just look at the look at the eyes. It's just like always making faces at what you do, bitch. Okay. Also, people who treat you like shit. We all have that person in our lives that treat us like shit, but we still keep them around. They gotta go. In 2020, they gotta go. If you treat me like shit, I don't care if we know each other for five months, five days, five years, fifteen years, bitch. You got to fucking go. Cause the truth be told, if you knew me for this long and you still treat me like shit, bitch, why am I still taking this? Why, bitch? Who are you to be treating me like shit? So therefore, people who treat you like shit, they need to be gone in 2020. Okay, bitch, you need to be gone just as then. Once you watch this video, if you see somebody block them, that's it. I don't like to block people because I like people to see the glow up and see how I'm doing, see the, you know, the, the growth. I never block people, bitch. You see me, sweetie. You can keep seeing me, sweetie. So I don't know, say block, mute, you know, do what you gotta do. But yeah, people treat you like shit. I feel like we tend to keep a lot of people who treat us like shit in our lives just because we always think about the good times and not the bad times. But sweetie, think about the bad times, bitch. That's easy for me to drop, bitches. I drop you, don't look back. I'm so sorry. When I'm done with you, I am done with you. You know they treat you like shit. Like, you think about, like, damn, you're really treating me like shit. Like, why am I still here? Like, you're really treating me like I'm garbage, like a basura, bitch. Dust, dirt. Why are you treating me like this? Truth be told, if they treat you like shit, they don't love you, they don't care for you, and that's it. That's not love, that's not care. How to find out the hard way, okay? People be saying, oh my god, I'll never hurt you. Boom. Bloop. Hurt. Me and Ricky B do come for each other. Sometimes I come for him too much just because I, I don't know what to stop. But I would say, with us, it's not like, you know those friends that always clown each other, always coming for you. Like, bitch, and it's like, it's at the point where sometimes you think it's personal. I feel like we've never gotten to that point, and I feel like we will never get to that point just because no, we don't do that. But the bitch who comes to you every day, who has something to say about you every day, the person who's always trying to come for you, it's like, damn, bitch, I'm not even in the mood to be arguing with you. I'm not in the mood to, like, cut your ass back. Uh, New York lingo. Friend or the person that just says the same joke all the time, it's like, damn, bitch, do I really stay? They gotta go. Those type of people gotta go. Every day, shut up. Those type of people. Also, someone or people who play games you, someone plays games, the, play, the game players. We are now, what, in the 27th. Before the first, that seems to die. You can tell someone's playing games with you. I can tell someone's playing games with me. When someone's playing games with me, they are dropped. I'm tired of people playing people. It is so annoying to be played. Let me just say something. Nobody loves you on these streets, okay? You won't, you gotta love yourself first, okay? I haven't learned that. Oh, you, you know what I mean? People be out here looking for love and all that. But it's like, do you even love yourself first? Love yourself first and stop loving somebody who's playing games with you 24-7. You know what you are. You know what you deserve. Stop playing games, sis. And if you don't have that and someone's not treating you right and someone's playing games with you 24 mother seven, let it go! All right, and now we have the ghoster. People who like to ghost, the ghosts. If you're talking to someone and they're always ghosting and always disappearing on you, no, stop it. I don't do it with the ghost, bitch. You're not Casper the friendly ghost. Stop it. I'm done. I'm done with the ghost. If I text you, you don't text me back and I see you on, on Twitter or whatever, you're not entitled to write me back, but don't sit here and start this conversation and then I respond and then you don't respond until three days later. I'm not doing that this year. I'm not doing that in 2020 and you shouldn't either. So if we all have people who ghost us and we just tend to keep them around, they need to go. They need to bounce. Who are you to disappear on me? Do you see me? Do you like Look at all of this. I'm not dealing with the ghosts because I really don't believe in ghosts. If you truly want to talk to somebody and you truly are invested in someone's time and you respect someone for their time, you will not ghost them. Me, I don't ghost you. I leave you on Reddit. That's not really ghosting. Sometimes I'll tell you I don't want to talk, but if you can't take the hit, you take the hit, okay? The thing is, it's okay to ghost, okay? It's okay to ghost, but I feel like you should let a person know you're going to be ghosting. Just don't ghost and come back and think everything is fine. Yeah, we all do it, but at this point, in 2020, we're going to start letting people know. Hey, I'm not in the right head space right now. Talk to you when I talk to you when I feel better. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Instead of you not hitting me up and then online, I see you keep keen and doing other shit with other people. Like, who is this bitch? Look at the material. Why would you settle for less? Don't do that. Don't do that, baby. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's just toxic for me. People who like to go and come back and they always want to come back on their terms or on their time, but when you want to talk to them, they don't want to talk to you. No. Nope. That. And also, I'm tired of a dependent person. I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, I don't have friends like this. Not anymore. They've been dropped.
a long time ago. But we don't have that friend that you know that's a little short on money and stuff. Not everything is about money. But the thing is, if you know you don't have money, stay your ass at home. Don't go out, bitch. Stay home and figure out how to make money. If you my friend, we good. I got you. But I'm not going to be getting you for the next seven months. It's not going to happen. I can't spot you every day for seven months. You're not my child. You're my friend. Go get a job. Go do something. And those be the same people, the same bitches ordering shit and acting all like this. Like they have it even when they don't. I mean, fake it till you make it, but sweetie, don't fake it to me. Because I know the truth and I know the real. Okay, I, I know the real. I know the real shit. Don't. The dependent friend that always depends on you, like, yo, can I do this, can I do that, can I hold this, can I... No, bitch, at this point, you're not holding, you're stealing. A true friend is supposed to hold you down, but a true friend is supposed to let you know when you need to get your life together, get your shit together, start making your own money, and start living for yourself, because you're not going to be dependent on me. We all have friends that are so dependent. The thing is, when you keep giving them money, they're just always going to count on you, which you always can, but they're always going to be dependent on you. And, I'm, bitch, don't depend on me, bitch. I'm not going to be living up to your, okay? I'm not living up to your expectations and your reality. I'm not doing it. So, therefore, a friend that's always dependent on you, 2020, you have to let that shit go. You've been depending on me for the past five years, bitch. Get a job. You know who you are. You know who you are. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness, bitch. Because I'll show you strength. And lastly, the gossiper, the slash instigator has to go. We all have that, those type of people in our lives. If you instigate, it's 2020, bitch. How old are we? we we're not in high school. We're not in middle school anymore, bitch. Let the shit go. I don't like people who instigate. I don't like people who start drama, start gossip. I mean, I ain't nothing wrong with gossip. I mean, I love to hear gossip. But do I do it? Not really. I don't play telephone. I don't like that shit. Because the thing is, I meet so many people who talk shit about their friends to me. I'm like, damn, bitch, I wonder what you say about me when I'm not around. The fuck? I, you was just with this You was just with this girl yesterday. You was just with this boy yesterday. Why are you telling me they business? People like that, you need to watch out for. If someone's talking shit about someone they're close to with friends to, but we're not really not that cool, bitch, shut up. You've been cool. I, I, I see the dates online. I see the pics. I see the posts. I see the comments. I see the tweets. Keep those people far, far away from the 2020. Those people bring nothing but negative energy, okay? Negative vibes. We don't need that in 2020, bitch. We are all about self-growth, wealth. We need to be focused on ourselves. We don't have time to worry about someone's business. Is it paying you? No, bitch. Is it putting a roof over your head? No. Is it putting food in your mouth? No. So yeah, um, those are the types of people slash friends that we are leaving in 2019. That was the video. I have a long ass list. I have more. Should I refill them? Because I don't want I don't want the video to be too long. But I could just go on for days and days and days. Well, yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe like I should. You see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You to watch, I don't post. So watch. And until then, see you later, my darlings. Bye. Toodaloo.